Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today I'm looking at this figure from Merlin. This is Arthur. Now, I don't know if any of you guys remember or saw the Merlin TV series. I think it was five seasons, six seasons on BBC uh, many years ago. Quite enjoyable. So here's the figure, it looks pretty cool. Nice fantasy figure, shoulders go outwards, you've got bicep bend, the legs look like T-bar articulation possibly, but he's got this great helmet that goes over his head and the head looks like it is removable. So there's options there and he comes with a shield and a decent sword. Other figures, there is Luta, there's the dragon, there's Gwen. I've seen most of these on eBay, sometimes cheap, sometimes expensive. The dragon's not that big, which is a bit unfortunate, but Maybe worth picking up in the future. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to uh, open this up, set him up, uh, see what it was like. So, back in, in the instance. Stay tuned. Okay, here he is set up. Now, if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen. Now, um, first impressions. Some things are good, some things are really atrocious. Now, he's posed with this uh, Simba skeleton here which is one of my favorite fantasy skeletons i've got five or six another three coming i found the other day so i'm happy about that um and you see he is bigger now what's good the shoulders are pretty good the shoulders go out he's got a bicep bend there still articulation i'm not quite 90 degrees the helmet goes on which is fantastic he can look left and right there is no real up and down his head is just a ball so you can swap that around with other figures quite easily and with the helmet which is quite pliable bendy so it could fit on other figures too um pretty decent on that there is wrist there is is anything on the wrist is that just my imagination yeah wrist turn but nothing else waist turns now what's really crap is there is no hip articulation now that is really crap is also really really kind of strange why is it strange because he's got a knee bend. Well, he's not going to sit down at anything. He can only not even kneel down. doesn't go far enough. Now, where or what might be redeemed? Let's have a look. Ugh. Oh, he's got a system like this opposite to a lot of other figures. So let me have a quick look. I've got my uh, custom Joy Toy Knight, which I still haven't painted. Though I'll get around to it in the distant future here not a joy toy sorry um fortnite and they are they are the opposite way if it was the same way you could have maybe had a, a relatively easy swap over now what you can do if you've got a fortnite figure that you don't want you could literally cut it open with like a dremel take out that little part secure it inside there then fix to some fortnite legs and you've got pretty much another figure made so that is a bit disappointing now having said that if you can find this quite cheap it's worth getting a few of these i think because they do make good guards or background figures the other bad thing is look at the shield the shield is glued onto his hand there's no handle you can make a handle and the sword is like like a joke rubber sword but these were meant to be display figures as opposed to play figures, or maybe they were play figures. But I'm just really surprised. Why did it give a knee bend of no hip articulation? Maybe to make him stand up better. He's not a bad looking figure, all in all, you know. And the fact that you get this great helmet, which just can pop onto him, and it'll fit in other figures too, I think is pretty cool. To get an idea of his height, you saw he's bigger than the skeleton. But the skeletons are quite short anyway. If I put him next to my Fortnite figure, he is a tad shorter, not a lot, than if I put him with my... Oh, I love these skeletons. This gun's got quite loose joints, but it's still quite easy to stand up. And I've got such great articulation and posability. Let's get his foot there. But I think they're awesome. So he is a bit disappointing. I'm a bit disappointed. But there are... What's the word? There are, um, I can't think of the word, possibilities. There are possibilities for him as well. Let's get a quick measure on his uh, on his height. Oh, my tape measure is stuck. Here we go. 
And we see that he is a respectable nine and a half approaching 10 cm. Not too bad. It's shorter than some figures and bigger than others. But he does look pretty cool. And if you add in my uh, sort of Narnia little dwarf here, which I'll use as a gnome, you get a nice sort of fantasy selection of figures there, which is great for your 118 scale fantasy dios and collections and whatnot. Decent enough, but disappointing with that no hip articulation, not even a T bar. And it's not the sort of thing that you're going to want to customize, I mean, as in cut and add. Too much hassle. The only the way I would suggest it, like I said earlier, is just to attach the body to a different set of legs. But other than that, I think he's pretty decent. The helmet is great. The sword floppy but looks good. The shield needs a handle for news other figures. But the upper body is pretty decent. Okay, this is awesome match toys signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe, check out my other content on this channel. There's over a thousand videos. And again, please do check out the Patreon and consider supporting us there. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.